when your chickens aren't just your egg layers, but they're also your backyard pets, you want to feed the very best. A lot of families begin raising their own chickens because they want to avoid the cruelty that happens in factory farming and your normal standard supermarket grocery eggs. So in doing that, we definitely give them a better life. However, if you feed them the same nasty pellets that they are fed in the factory farming, you're really not doing anything different nutrition-wise for the egg that your family's going to eat. That's why we recommend a combination of Serenity Sprouts, Sprouting Mix, and Scratch and Pack Feeds, which is USDA organic, non-GMO project verified, animal welfare approved, and a certified bee corporation. We recommend Scratch and Pack's starter feed to be fed from newborn to eight weeks of age. Since it's real food and not overly processed, chick grit is needed to assist in digesting it. Pasty bottom can occur. We recommend offering the organic starter soaked in water to make a mash with grit sprinkled on top for at least the first week. To increase natural biotics, the scratch and peck feed can be soaked in water up to two days before feeding out. For baby chicks, the most beneficial herbs are oregano, parsley, basil, and sage. As they grow, the extra herbs are wonderful. As your chicks grow to eight weeks of age, we recommend feeding scratch and pecks grower feed. This can be fed dry as is, or you can create a lovely mash with equal parts of water and dry feed. For families that care enough to feed whole foods, Serenity Sprout Sprouting Mix is perfect. The Serenity Sprout Sprouting Mix can be soaked up to three days to add extra probiotics. Or simply soak for eight hours, simply rinse, and then drain. Serenity Sprouts Culinary Melody of Herbs includes oregano, parsley, basil, bay leaf, sage, shrevel, cilantro, comfrey, dandelion, dill, fennel, thyme, mint, and nettles. You can also grow your own and feed them fresh. After the starter pellets have been outside for a week, we begin a weekly regimen of preventative and natural deworming along with an herbal boost. Take your daily ration for your flock of Serenity Sprouts Fermented or the scratch and peck feed that's been soaked for a couple of days. Add a tablespoon of each of the herbs that you're going to offer them and mix it in. Then add a tablespoon of cinnamon Cinnamon helps with natural deworming and also their blood flow and circulation. And also a tablespoon of the hottest pepper that you have. And this is per hen, keep in mind. We like to use the African bird pepper, which is 150 skulls. You can go down a bit and get cayenne pepper if you wish. Since different breeds mature at different ages, provide free choice oyster shells at 16 weeks of age. Now that your ladies are grown up to be in hens, you have several choices to feed your flock and determine not only the feed, but which method you want to use. The Serenity Sprout seeds have a natural protective coating so that in nature, the seeds can still be viable even if an animal digests it. Fed out once fermented, sprouted, or grown into fodder. At 18 weeks, transition into your preference of layer feed. Scratch and Peck pellets, organic layer from Scratch and Peck, or the Serenity Sprouts Sprouting Mix. For those that want to feed and forget about it, Scratch and Peck pellets with grub protein provides a well-balanced organic diet. For families that want to see most of the ingredients, Scratch and Peck layer feed is recommended to be soaked in water for two days and then fed out. Although you can feed it dry, 
by soaking the Serenity Sprouts feed. Even in as little as eight hours, that protective coating is removed, which allows access to all the nutrients contained inside that seed. By soaking a little longer, for two to three days, you enter the fermentation process. By fermenting, you preserve the vitamins in your grains, and it also creates new vitamins, primarily B vitamins like folic acid, rubithorn, niacin, and thiamine. By soaking the Serenity Sprouting Mix in water for as little as overnight, the feed will actually double its yield, allowing you to save some money. Or instead of letting it sit in water for three days, all you have to do is simply rinse and drain for that three to five days, and you're gonna grow beautiful sprouts that your flock's gonna devour. And you save even more money because now the yield not only doubles, it triples. Yes, so a 50 pound bag now is 150 pounds of servings.